for problem numbers 30 and 32, I zoomed out a little bit so we could see both the, the problems as well as the, the formulas. And uh, again, we have cosine, cosine. So we know we're going to be using one of the cosine formulas. When we have a minus sign in between, so cosine, cos, uh, cosine, cosine, minus, sine, sine. When we have a minus in between, that corresponds to the cosine of alpha plus beta. And so therefore, all we have to do is figure out the alpha and the beta. Well, the alpha is the first angle, and the beta is the second angle. So what we have is the cosine of 5 pi over 12 plus 7 pi over 12. And 5 pi over 12 plus 7 pi over 12 is 12 pi over 12, which is pi. So the 12s cancel, and we get cosine of pi. Well, the cosine of pi is negative 1. And then for problem 32, oh, wow, you didn't see me do any of that. My bad. Okay, so I'm just going to not not going to zoom out again so that you don't miss what I did, but um, for number 32, we have sine cosine plus cosine sine. Sine cosine plus cosine sine. So that's this formula right here, sine of alpha plus beta. Okay, so all we have to do is write sine of alpha plus beta. So that's our formula. And then What's our alpha? Well, our alpha is the first angle, our beta is the second angle, and by now, hopefully we're getting the hang of this. We have pi over 18 plus 5 pi over 18. All right, and 1 pi over 18 plus 5 pi over, pi over 18 is 6 pi over 18. So we have sine of 6 pi over 18, which is the sine of pi over 3. And we know that the sine of pi over 3 is rad 3 over 2.